Right aligned. as Radiance of Ashara oh. actually aligned wow, perfectly. They perfectly. They're aligned. perfectly aligned going into this one as Radiance of Ashara on our screens for Limit is going up here. There it is. Time walks straight away. So kind of surprisingly, not seeing any of the, the range getting stacked up here in melee, but the instant dispels going out on those traps, so everyone's just moving out of the way very quickly. You'll probably start seeing the group steadily starting to split between left and right side. Also got to be careful getting too close to the boss on that one as you will get bounced back if you are touching the middle of them. Yeah, you can be bounced back straight into one of those uh, tornadoes. Great to see this POV from Lighty, who of course was one of our MDI champions for that summer LAN. Yeah. So, He's felt the pressure. He's felt the pressure before. He's felt the pressure. He's worked with his team on this one. And look how much they're taking their time Split, splitting up here. They're not moving too much. They're not taking forever to get in position and, and get away from those tornadoes. They're not just running away from them as fast as they possibly can. They're taking their time and they're just dodging. And this is a really good play because they only have so much room to work with on this fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they and don't want to get too close to the other group. Exactly. They don't want to get too close to the other group. They don't want to take too much time. So they have pretty stable positions on this one and they're just kind of dodging the tornadoes that they need to. So they kind of carve the room in half and they say, all right, this is our side, this is your side. You can start bouncing around and moving around a little bit, but these are the designated areas that we want to keep you guys at. Yeah, exactly. We're going to be seeing that, uh, that transitional phase very, very soon with the two, uh, the two ads. Let's see what happens with that one. Yep, and it was actually also really cool with Lighty being able to start seeing his knockback coming up as he was using Touch of Karma to start cranking out that little bit of extra damage and knowing when those phases are where it's great to take extra damage where you're able to churn out a bit of extra healing on that one is incredible. So intermission coming up here as we have to watch both of those Radiance ads coming up. You are seeing a lot of bounces on that Warlock as he's dropping very low and almost dying. Oh, yeah, there we go, the Lay on Hands coming up, <laughs> saving his life. There he is. Looks like they got, uh, yeah, looks like they got both, uh, to both of the uh, ads pretty nicely there. No one's gone down yet, so it's pretty good pull yeah. so far. The positioning is also very interesting because they're having instant dispels on the arcane bombs. They're not really waiting for anybody to get out of the way, but you are seeing a couple people who might have ended up getting hit by those arcane bombs. They are going to have a very hefty stun on top of it, so you are seeing the pally and Dispriest working together to start topping off the group very quickly. and. Good focus by the team to make sure that they're staying on top of this. This group in particular with Eric isn't going to be able to have any sort of uh, window to be able to get knocked back. They're not going to get themselves knocked back into like the entrance, for example. So they've got to make sure they're using their own defensives. they got to make sure they're positioning properly so they're not getting knocked out back into any traps or getting knocked out into the water or the boss. Yeah, and that right there was how it's done. Look at that, 50% already on Radiance of Bashara. Yep. Yeah. And even though they were having instant dispels here, ooh, that was a last minute dispel onto their Warlock there on Eric's side. Making sure they have the right timings for when is it okay to instant dispel these traps? When is it uh, a point where we have to wait a little bit longer, for example? So having that knowledge and being able to start seeing that positioning, especially because you usually only have one arcane trap per side. Sometimes you have two. Sometimes both the arcane traps will be on the exact same side. So you have to have more people moving out, for example. Those things are always so cool to start seeing how they coordinated and how they planned in advance with the healers working this out. Yeah, for sure. You look at the positioning here as well. They are kind of edging towards the other group, but you can see them right now heading right back to the, their uh, previous position. That is that's real good right there. And, and, the, and the range DPS is also doing a great job at not straying too far into melee here, so clogging up that area, and it allows it uh, your melee to have a bit more peace of mind, especially, as we saw with Lighty, using his Touch of Karma, for example. If he wants to start min-maxing, adding that extra bit of damage, which is very substantial over the entire course of the fight, you gotta have a clear room. You gotta have a clear position for it. Yeah, this right here, he is going down quick. We are almost in the execute range right now. We're edging into 20%. Edging away. And we haven't had a wipe yet. No. Where's the wipe gonna be happening, Mr. GM? Well, it looks like uh, if we go over to Big Dumb Guild, it looks like uh, we have a few deaths over there with uh, Blackwater Behemoth. It does look like they're positioning themselves or getting uh, down for a bit of a wipe as they have about five, six, even seven guys down on their side. So they're having that Blackwater Behemoth wipe at like 23% or something. So we'll have to watch them closely as they reform and get ready for their next pull on that one. That's surprising since Blackwater Behemoth didn't look like it was going to be too terribly difficult. Yeah, it could have been potentially just a small mistake that they might have done. But uh, yeah, it's, it's unfortunate, but they could get back on their feet right away. 
definitely will. And I love seeing that disengage by air just to make sure that he's not getting knocked back into the boss. You are seeing, for example, Warlock gateways. You are seeing teleports coming up to make sure people are staying on the platform. Players spreading out to be able to drop off their arcane bombs, quickly getting out of the way before they end up killing it. So that should be the last set of ads yep. that they're killing. And then they'll be able to burn the boss from here. Yeah, honestly, I think once they're down, we are going to be seeing the world first of Radiance of Ashara. Right you are, my friend, as we are going into that with a 10 12% yeah, left on the boss here as they're burning down the last yeah, bits. If they don't lose any focus there, those bombs were a little bit rough there, but they're, uh, they got out of it, it's all good. Uh, that's part of the benefit of having such a wide uh, room to be able to work with, Yeah, is you have so many escape routes to go to. Looks like we're just about to get the Radiance of Shard down, and the Black Widow Behemoth is looking down. Also, potentially a It kill? was looking like they were wiping on this one with like seven or eight players dead, but they're continuing on. They have a, a little over half the raid left alive on the side of EDG, and they're actually pressing on. People are dropping so <laughs> low, but we are seeing Limit downing Radiance of Ashara. 